The Samsung M series has followed the same design language over the years with a polycarbonate body and different colors including a couple of gradient finishes on the back. With the Galaxy M51, you get a similar design language. It comes with a glossy back. The Samsung Galaxy M51 packs in a 6.7 inch display. It is a Super AMOLED screen with Infinity O panel which means there is a centered punch hole cutout for the selfie camera. The refresh rate here is set at 60Hz. Performance is one thing that the M series always had issues with. To solve this particular issue, M51 comes with Snapdragon 730 which is a good mid-range processor. It comes with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The Galaxy M51 comes with a quad camera setup with a 64MP primary camera. The primary camera is followed by a 12MP wide-angle lens with 2.2 aperture, a 5MP depth sensor and a 5MP macro lens. You can record 4K video at 30fps. For selfies, the phone features a 32MP shooter. The camera specs are pretty much similar to the Galaxy M31s here. It also comes with a bunch of shooting modes such as live focus, background blur for selfies and more. Battery capacity and battery life have always been a plus point for the M series. With the Galaxy M51, Samsung is taking that to the next level. The Galaxy M51 features a massive 7000 mAh battery. On the charging front, the device comes with the support for 25W fast charging technology via Type-C interface. First of all, the A51 5G is light, really light. Samsung has always done a good job of building featherweight phones that still feel well made, and the A51 5G is proof of that. Its 6.5 inch display is nearly 2 inches larger than the 4.7 inch panel inside the Apple's new iPhone SE. The A51 5G's display is flat, which is actually a breath of fresh air from the carved panels in every modern premium handset. It's hard to put my finger on, but a flat screen simply feels simpler to use and easier to live with. The A51 5G is attractive with its upper slim bezels and a display that perfectly follows the silhouette of the body. But it gets better, the A51 has a headphone jack. One of the best thing about the last year's Galaxy A50 was its AMOLED display, which is a luxury typically reserved for more premium devices. Rather than use a rear mounted fingerprint sensor, the A51 5G comes with an in-display optical scanner that works well most of the time. Rather than using one of Qualcomm's mid-range 600 or 700 series chipset, the Galaxy A51 5G derives its power from Samsung's own Exynos 980 CPU. It is supported by 6 or 8 GB of RAM depending on the variant. The Exynos 980 is an 8nm processor. The A51 5G excels at games. For a budget handset anyway, you can play most of the popular games without any problem. You might expect one or two cameras from this phone, but the Galaxy A51 5G has four on the back. A 48MP wide-angle primary shooter supported by 12MP ultra-wide, 5MP depth and 5MP macro optics. A 32MP sensor serves selfie duties on the front. That's a whole lot of megapixels and when conditions are favorable, the A51 5G can pull in a lot of detail. We like the A51 5G's depth effects. That ultra-wide shooter shines when the sun is out. There is a surprising level of detail overall in Samsung's shot and good dynamic range as you move from the shadows to daylight. So what about the night shots? Well, you would think the A51 5G would be better equipped for such scenarios because it has a night mode, something Apple's cheapest iPhone lacks. As we discovered, it's not very useful. In complete darkness, the short lit captures are totally unacceptable. You can record 4K video at 30fps. Pictures taken with selfie camera delivers stunning quality with great color accuracy and dynamic range. Samsung has used 4500 mAh battery into the Galaxy A51 5G. That big battery plus the A51's hardware being optimized more for efficiency than all-out power should guarantee exceptional battery life. This device also supports 15W fast charging. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition is a more affordable version of the flagship phone S20 and its motto is for the fans, which means it prioritizes cameras and display quality at a more favorable price than the rest of the Galaxy S20 line. There is a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate for a smooth scrolling and great viewing experience. For this price, the S20 Fan Edition packs most of the best perks of the flagship S20 line a Snapdragon 865 chipset or Exynos 990 for the 4G version, 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. 
With this processor and RAM, you can expect to have great fluidity when using any apps or games. The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition features a triple rear camera setup just like the Galaxy S20 but with different lenses. The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition features a 12 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 8 megapixel telephoto lens with a 3x optical zoom. The space zoom goes up to 30x. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S20 packs a 12 megapixel main shooter, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens and a sharper 64 megapixel telephoto lens that crops in to achieve a 3x optical zoom. Its space zoom also goes up to 30x. You can record 4K video at 60fps. Up front, the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition has a higher res selfie camera at 32 megapixel compared to the 10 megapixel for the Galaxy S20. This makes sense because Samsung is targeting a younger audience with the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. Both the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition and Galaxy S20 share the same top camera features such as night mode, super steady and single take. The phone has a 4500 mAh battery maxing out at 25W word fast charging and 15W wireless charging. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display which is designed to deliver smoother motion when you are scrolling and especially playing games. You can also toggle between 60Hz and 120Hz in settings which will come in handy if you want to save battery life. Samsung's 6.9 inch display will push the boundaries of your fingers reach but it won't feel much bigger than the S10 Plus. Its width is actually a little smaller than the 6.8 inch Note 10 Plus and 6.7 inch Galaxy S10 5G. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. You can still grip it with one hand and shove it in a deep enough jeans pocket. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops, meaning it's more than you will ever need. The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7 nanometer chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 16GB of RAM, 512GB of internal storage and a microSD card slot for expandable storage. The app's performance are silky smooth. The S20 Ultra isn't a pure gaming phone but it matches the Asus ROG Phone 2 and Razer Phone 2 with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The S20 Ultra has a 108MP 1.8 aperture main camera a 48 megapixel 3.5 aperture telephoto camera and a 12 megapixel 2.2 aperture ultra wide camera there's also a time of flight depth camera on the back aiding portrait photos and 3d scans and a 40 megapixel selfie camera on the front it's samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the galaxy s7 and s7 edge the main 108 megapixel camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details the camera performed well in almost every light condition the telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality, while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung's super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020 and here it is. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the most advanced big screen phone so far because it's much more than a phone. It's a highly evolved note taking device. Samsung has made its most elegant looking phone yet with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The squared of ages combined with the sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner of its vibe. The finish does a good job of resisting fingerprints. The massive 6.9 inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold and colorful. More importantly, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The display is exceedingly bright and is fairly easy to read in direct sunlight. 
When using the display, scrolling is super smooth and fast. You can always choose 60Hz manually if you want to save battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features triple rear camera setup plus a laser autofocus sensor. The camera array starts with a 108MP wide camera with a 1.8 aperture and it's paired with a 12MP ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. The 12MP telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50x super resolution zoom. The zoom lens delivers amazing quality, every time you zoom into something you will be surprised by the distance it covered and the details it captured. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's night mode is good but it's not quite as bright or colorful as the iPhone 11 Pro. Pictures taken with this device deliver stunning quality with great details and colors. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better results than the iPhone 11 Pro in close-up shots. If you want to record the sharpest video possible, you will be pleased to know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can record 8K video with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There's also a new Pro Video mode that lets you control the focus, exposure and zoom speed. The 12 megapixel selfie camera up front has a 120 degree field of view, which should come in handy for group selfies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra benefits from a swift 9ms response time for its S Pen which is designed to deliver more of a pen to paper feel when taking notes or drawing. It's one of the fastest Android phones around and it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by up to 10% to 3.1 GHz and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. This processor is paired with 12GB of RAM and either 128GB or 512GB of internal storage. As you would expect from a premium flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports both flavors of 5G. You will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. It comes with 25W fast charging, it also supports wireless charging and 9W reverse wireless charging. It offers a best-in-class display, a better S Pen experience and a boatload of new features for work and play. The cameras are stellar, fixing the focusing problem with the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the powerful zoom and Xbox gameplay give the Note 20 Ultra an advantage over the upcoming iPhone 12.